Yeah, like I wanted to save it. Um, yeah. so and I was like, it? maybe it will be my friend. Because like I always had a dream of a duck being my friend. Oh, a duck no, you're <laughs> printing on you. You're going to have no, no problem getting married on that 80s RV with yeah. a duck. Yeah, you yeah. Got yeah. This. I'm not trying to get married. <laughs> it's not my goal in life. Did you take um, Wait, duck? not all women want to be married? Yeah. Actually, I'm ar I'm divorced. So oh, it's okay. like I already... Now, do, you have any, do you have any weapon over that. on board in case you uh, um, deal with an intruder? Yeah, my, I have a box cutter. Nice. <laughs> so. yeah, like yeah. a terrorist. I like yeah. it here like this. <laughs> yeah. A box cutter's good. You hide it like this, and you go, don't, yeah. I'm just a damsel. Then you unzip the yeah. I think I'm going to get a gun, though. That's probably yeah. a better... You think you're going to get a what? I think He's I'm going to get a gun. Yeah, you should get a 30-foot You should get a 30 foot gun. Yeah. <laughs> How far did this duck make it back to your RV? <laughs> How what? Did the duck make it to the yeah. RV? Yeah. How long did you have the duck in the RV for? Like a couple hours. And then I was like, man, I'm freaking out. I, Because I walked through like Chinatown with it or something, and all these Asian people were scared of me. And I was when like. When you were picking out which duck you wanted, were you all like, duck, duck, <laughs> duck? <laughs> I was like, man, whichever one you can <laughs> grab out of there. Right there. You silly fuck. They have like 20 of them in a cage. You walked the duck through Chinatown? <laughs> Yeah, and they all, all the people were scared of me, and I was like, why am I the weird one in New York City right now? Is this weird what I'm doing? Did your first marriage end pretty bad? Is that why you're living in an RV? Is, um, he, is he still alive? The, Down by the river? That marriage ended like seven years ago, so I've like rebuilt myself and fallen apart since then. So uh, <laughs> why, th why that marriage? Like a true comedian. Uh, he was just real shitty. He was? Um, he was cheating on me since before Did he ever married. try to hit you? Is that why you wanted to duck? Um... <laughs> Motherfuckers. Don't you ever, ever forget. He never he never hit me, but he let, I'd accidentally get hurt a lot. Ooh, <laughs> like so around right. him. That made around him. him. Super so he sad. was like he was kinda yeah. jinxy. This took a weird turn. Yeah. He, yeah, he, he he forced you to be clumsy. When yeah. you divorced him, did he have to go to the other side of the RV? <laughs> <laughs> Was back in the He's day. He's excited to get rid of the RV. This guy sounds like a real loser, Bago. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. Loser, Bago. <laughs> so, um, how much longer are you in LA for? What's your next move? Um, I'm here for like three weeks, um, consistently. But then I'm Until going to Florida for a bit, and then to Texas for a bit, and, you're and then I'll be on back. This RV. Nah, it needs repairs right now, <laughs> so I'm probably gonna fly and get rental cars. I know a great so. RV guy. <laughs> yeah. Who it's who got sells? some yeah. brake awesome. issues and the, the shocks and springs yeah, need to be worked on. So. I love it. Yeah. Well, Jessica, interesting as fuck. Great set. Nice cool. to meet Thanks. you. Well Thanks. done, Jessica. Good well good. done, sister. Best wishes for you and your RV. I want your RV to have a Twitter account, too. I want to follow up on this. Jessica's on Twitter at the Jessie Marie. J-E-S-S-I-E-M-A-R-I-E. -S -S you can follow her. All right, all right, okay. So he's really into it for a second. If she ever needed a shower, also no cameras. I have, I have a shower. Oh, you're talking you, to the you, RV girl? Yeah. Oh, there I mean, you just go. Red Band, you can take that creeper attitude back into the woods. Come on. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. Looks like another new name. Let's meet Jesse Walmart. Yeah, Jesse Walmart. Yes. So, you, America's awkward, man. I've been living in America, and it's been awkward for me before Trump. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, I was at a bar, and I, I offered a girl a drink, right? I was like, Miss, let me get you a drink. And no question. She was like, sorry, I don't date Arabs. Mm-hmm. I'm Puerto Rican, <laughs> but like I know my face says otherwise, you know, like I know I got like prey on rug face, you know, yeah, I get it. I know I look like a casual terrorist, it's all right. like I'm on chapter six, I had to join ISIS for dummies, I get it, I always try to tell people I'm Hispanic, um, but they never believe me, and it's like, it, the only way I could prove it, and if you're Hispanic, you can understand this is, Everybody in a Hispanic household always has a two-syllable nickname. It's always two syllables, right? So like my aunt, her name was Toti. I don't know what the fuck that means, right? My brother was Chacho. 
short for muchacho, you know, that means little boy. My sister was uh, nena. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody in my family called me faggot. There you go, Jesse Woolmart. <laughs> How long you been doing stand-up, Jesse? Uh, three years now. Three years, where at? Uh, I'm from New York, from the Bronx, so in the city. Manhattan. Fuck yeah. I feel like Bronx. we look similar. A little <laughs> bit. You guys look like a before and after. Of where are you from, man? I'm from Denver. Okay. White as shit. Okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> look like a before and after of a product that works wonders. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart. Is Walmart really your last so, name? So this is the thing about my last name, and this goes more to just how ambiguous I am, I guess. I don't know where the fuck Walmart comes from, to be honest. Walmart. Yeah. It's a, apparently German. Um, and uh, is good. there's nothing really German about me. Did you honest. say German? Oh, yeah. No, I didn't. He, did you say German? Yeah. No, that's, that's not like that. That's like African. That's not that race. Bro. <laughs> I would like to see your papers, please. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like the only German thing I've ever done, use an oven. Oh Jesus, oh. Jesse, come on. I know, man. I know. I just figured Jesse, I'll sneak on. another joke in because no, I'm a hacky. Don't do it. No, that, that wasn't yeah. a joke. Don't say that was a I'm joke. Sorry. That joke got me fired, by the way. From what? Uh, restaurant. Comedy. From Walmart. <laughs> From what? <Walmart. laughs> What restaurant were you working at? Uh, I worked at Del Frisco's. It's like a steakhouse or some shit. Uh, where do you work now? Uh, nowhere at the moment. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. You know, a girl with an RV. <laughs> <laughs> they should link up, huh? <laughs> Travel to somewhere to live. <laughs> How long have you been unemployed for? Uh, it's been a few months now. So, yeah. Uh, I got a flight out here. I'm leaving tomorrow. So Where are you I'm going? Back to New York. Yeah. Oh, so, oh back to Bronx. Bronx. Yeah, the Bronx. Back home. Yeah. How long have you been out here? Uh, for a week now. Anything fun happen in your week here? Did you uh, experience anything that you weren't expecting? This. Other than this. Other than this? Um, I had ramen. You had ramen? Mm, that was about wow. it. Wow. That's tough to find in New York. Yeah, yeah. totally. Really I mean, honestly, I've just been, like, uh, the worst thing that happened to me, and I can tell you that. that yeah, okay. sure, anything uh, my Let's get it sad in here. Just the RV lady. Anything other than ramen, really. I like, I, this is disgusting, but like, I feel like a criminal because I'm staying with my cousin and he has a niece, but like, he, you know, This she, is the most Puerto Rican start of a story exactly. I've ever heard. Yeah. But like, I. I feel like a. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not even going to go into it. It's awful. Oh, no, you it. are. You but are. Anyway, I got caught masturbating in my niece's bathroom. Ah, oh, there by, you go. By, by who? Uh. <laughs> By my cousin. <laughs> the Mexican yeah, guys just cousin. ate that yeah. up. They put their hands up like they were on a roller And it's coaster. like, he's, he's cool. Like, he's, he's a really cool guy. He was like, if you bring a girl over, just change the sheets. Because I'm, yeah. like, sleeping on a Barbie bed. Yeah, and you fucking put it down. But no, I, I mean, I didn't even bring anybody back. I just... You were sleeping on a Barbie bed? Yeah, I'm still sleeping on a Barbie Jacking bed. Jacking off. You were masturbating? No. Well, no, not in the bed. Were you facing the Barbie side while mm -hmm. masturbating? No. Not, yeah, maybe. I don't know. What is this that you're... The itsy bitsy <laughs> spider? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's so creepy. Were there any, like, toys going off or anything like that? No, thank God. What did yeah. he do when he walked in? He was just like, dude, close the door. And that was it. Wait, the oh. door was open? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I just, I thought... I got I... caught masturbating on the, uh, in the lobby of a, uh... He needs, he lobby needs of a, a major hotel. He they totally busted me. They're like, this... that? You believe that? <laughs> That's what I call Port of Skeeton. <laughs> I need a casual audience. <laughs> I, I, uh, I felt bad. He didn't catch you masturbating. You let him see you masturbating. That's, right. That's no. so creepy. He's a claustrophobic pervert. No, no, you pervert. jacking off in front of your family. They didn't have to. <laughs> to I don't even leave the door open when I masturbate in my own apartment by myself. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, what it's the so did weird. You, like, it just think... feels weird. I don't want any, like, ghosts seeing me or anything <laughs> like that. Did you think that somebody, <laughs> did you not think anybody was in the house? Or you well, the thing a, is, no one, was, no one was home, but, right. like, I just, I mean, he came in, I guess, to tell me that, like, he was leaving or he was probably in his room already. I, I, and, ninja, you were and, you were, and you left the door open to tell him you were coming. Well, there, there's two doors. <laughs> 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 did he sneak, did he tiptoe, does he tiptoe around his house? So, this is, there's two doors. There's a door to the bedroom and then a door, it's the bathroom inside of a bedroom. So. Oh. Uh, yeah. By the time I heard the uh, the first door open, it was too late. Yeah, I mean, you were already like, "Give me another update." I just I tried to turn <laughs> around, but too you can't late. Really no! hide oh! the fact of the matter. Is that, is that why you're going back to New York? Tonight? Yes. 
Yes, it is. Best week, that, worst week. <laughs> what, what, was your, uh, what was your masturbation like setup? Like, what did you have going on? Um, were, you, were you naked, you know, you know, underwear, underwear no, around just, the knees, laying down? Stand up, Charmin's Ultra. That's it. You were, wait, Charmin's Ultra? I just had, uh, Charmin's you Ultra. Multiple plies? Yeah. Just, that means he's going to catch his fucking load for you liberals out there. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because he's a man and he shoots heavy arcs of fucking glory. I was, I was just afraid that, like, so you're, somebody might touch you're, it. You're standing so. next to the bed. No, I'm in the bathroom. Which you're is in the next, bathroom. It's in the bedroom, basically. Oh. So you open one you're door. You're facing the mirror, the sink, the shower. Uh, you're I was looking at yourself, right? I was looking at myself. Yeah. You were looking at yourself. Right in the right. eyes. That's oh. the second most Puerto wow. Rican thing I've ever heard. Now, <laughs> did, he hear, did he hear something? That's Mexican, bro. <laughs> did he hear something? Was he like, somebody's doing push-ups? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds now, like a... So what I did is, uh, so there's like two lights. There's a light for the, uh, for the you know, light, and then yeah. there's a light for like the air conditioner sound, so it like covers the sound of sure. me masturbating. Covers the, it also covers the sound of uh, your cousin walking into yeah. the so bedroom. <laughs> ultimately, oh, that's... Oh, he's never going to hear me <laughs> masturbating <laughs> with this on. I'll leave the door open, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn the air conditioner on and leave this door open. They'll yeah. never catch me. <laughs> Might as well have just fucking been jerking off with an air horn. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing going on here. I can't come unless I hear the sweet sound of an... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that motherfucking party started. <laughs> so you're facing yourself in the mirror. You have... What you, you, you said Charmin Ultra Ply? Yeah. All right. How much, like, do you roll the Charmin up or do you have it, like, still on the... Like, do you already have it's, it's it taken pre -rolled. off? Oh, it's pre-rolled. You are... So, but I mean, I know it's already on a roll. No, but I mean, like, you take, like I, yeah, I, you I, took up, you took some off to be able to, you what you predicted to be able to hold the load that you weren't going to inevitably shoot. Yes, sir. And <laughs> did you have like lotion? Were you using baby lotion? No, just I came straight out the shower, so I was good yeah. like that. So you were well, straight out of the shower. Clean, you're clean. I'm yeah. straight out of the shower. You Why would you do it in yeah, the shower? Because I felt hand. awful doing it in the pump. shower. <laughs> my, it's my niece's shower, you know? Ooh. Yeah, but that's the cleanest place. And instead of doing I, it in I the... Just, I, it's Puerto Rican, Brian. They don't do anything <laughs> clean. <laughs> Ooh, I, I'm, I'm, in that, I'm in that sanitary masturbating business. <laughs> Tony, you made fun of my gay joke at the beginning of the podcast, yet we've been interviewing this man for seven minutes about how he jerks off. <laughs> It's a, again, when I find something interesting about someone, I mean, we found out that he left a fucking door open from my questions, by the way. Yes, 14 minutes ago we found that out, yes. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I, six <laughs> minutes ago. Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you fold the paper towel, the towel? The, did the toilet paper, did you fold it in half, my good man? Yes, I did. Wow, what a Mercutio. <laughs> so when he saw you, your mid-stroke, what does he say, what do you say? Um, I mean, he was just basically, he was just like, Dude, come just, on, man. Just like close that. the door. Like, he's, nice I guess song. he was cool with me. Just close the door? That's so he was it? like, no, just like, be more like mysterious about now, it. Now, what I guess. was the face? Yeah. He said, be more mysterious. No, no, no. That's like, it? he didn't say that, yeah, but he was like, put on this mask. Hide it. I don't know, for lack Keep of better. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> put on this mask, and I'll totally walk out of the room. <laughs> Could you? Could you please yeah. slowly demonstrate, <laughs> beat for beat, how you did it with your hand? I think the audience would like to know. All right, Jesse. Well, I'm not going to demonstrate. That is definitely the most interesting thing that happened to you this week. Uh, getting caught masturbating from your cousin. Huh. How old's the niece? Uh, six. <laughs> now, yeah, no. I, I didn't ask that question for a reason. <laughs> Thank you. There. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Left you with a little partying <laughs> gift. Call back all the way to the San Francisco <laughs> episode. Anything else for Jesse, guys? Yes. What's Jesse? your favorite type of crowd to bomb in front of? <laughs> um, Ooh, a little hatred from Pat. Puerto Ricans, I guess. Because they have low self-esteem and low standards anyway. So. Oh. Well, Damn. you know what? I heard Puerto Ricans said next in the crowd. So. A minute a minute's a hard time to make people laugh, but you, you made people laugh. So. Yeah, Thank I you. have a question. I have uh, a question for oh, you. There you go. What's your favorite type of crowd to bomb in front of? <laughs> Sounds like the uh, same type of crowd that you love to bomb in front of. Pat. <laughs> ah, I feel like this is like a like a ISIS joke that you're trying to. No, I don't know. Uh, I think that is a bit of a stretch. Okay. Pat, don't worry about the actors. No crowd. I don't like to bomb in front of any crowd. That's is that fair? Answer, right? That's a Bronx answer, right? <laughs> fucking day. Oh. No, he, he, he just bombs in front of uh, his cousin in his, <laughs> sure, in his six year old's bathroom. <laughs> All right, Jesse. There you go. Thank Jesse, you guys. There he goes, Jesse Walmart. Everybody. Walmart.
Walmart. He's on Twitter at J Walmart. W O L M A R T. Walmart. I want to play music. The Get up there. I'm about to fucking play. You can Walmart. sing? I can sing. I have a sing beautiful further. voice. I'd like to fucking play the tuba. I'm good on the tuba, but I don't. You play a mean tuba. Yeah, but it's hard to fit in my Tesla. 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 <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. This will be interesting to see if this is a real human. I'm excited to see what happens. So put your hands together for Hostile Takeover. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't think so. Oh. Yeah, here he comes. Hostile Takeover. Yo, what up? Man. I'm in an interracial relationship and shit, and I, I'm finding out shit about white people I didn't know. Like Christmas just passed, like a couple months ago. White people really do read the night before Christmas, the night before fucking Christmas. I thought that shit was an urban myth, like pop rocks and soda. <laughs> and you know, you get the it, there's just differences between white people, black people, not better or worse, just different. Like white girls suck the fuck out of a dick. <laughs> Black girls do too. They just ain't the payoff in that motherfucker. White girls would be like, shoot it here, here, here. It's like protein. <laughs> Black girls, nah, don't treat the shit like protein. They treat it like acid. You, they be like, oh, baby, I'm about to, uh, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that a minute yet or what? I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> it was 48 seconds. It was 48 seconds, but the band started playing, so I guess you're safe. Right, right. Fuck out of a dick. Uh, so some girl was super excited about that. Right? Where the fuck is she? <laughs> She's gone now. Uh, Whatever. Hostile takeover. How are you? Welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, man? How you How's doing? It going good. Nice to meet you. How long have you been on stand up? Uh, like six years. Very cool. Where at? Uh, mostly in the Empire. I'm from San Bernardino. Awesome. This white girl you're hooking up with—is that your first white girl? Uh, no. Okay. You've been with a few? Yeah, a couple. But this white girl that you're with literally read Nightmare Before Christmas or Night no, Before actually, Christmas on the Actually, that was Christmas. the white girl before her. But, you know, how many for Christmas? comedy's sake, I had to. How many Christmases ago was this? Oh, uh, shit. Like, a lot. Yeah, a lot. lot. A few. And you think because she read A Night Before Christmas on the Night Before Christmas that all white people do that? Well, shit. Because <laughs> that's one of our biggest kept secrets that we don't want you knowing about. <laughs> That's the real whitest tradition that we have that we hold on to. I'm surprised she shared it with you. Right, right. We have a do, blood do you only bond. date white girls? No. No. Sometimes you go back and forth. Sometimes I'll, you're like, you know what? I want a, I want a girl to feel. Like I don't that. discriminate. <laughs> I, I, I'm black. I date black girls. Fuck it. But currently, I'm dating a white girl. Just way it fucking worked out. Yeah. That's good. I had a nightmare before Christmas once. It was when the lead from Oliver Twist dropped out. And we had to use the understudy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> shit, I'm gonna have a nightmare about them fucking leggings. What the fuck do you have on, nigga? Oh shit. Cal calm yes. down, Othello. Rose. <laughs> oh shit. It's a hostile takeover. <laughs> now, hostile, is there a reason why you go by the name of Hostile Takeover? Do you always do that? Has that been your stage name for a long time? Uh, for the last, like, four years, yeah. Then a shirt has a middle finger. I don't know if you saw that, too. Oh, that's cool. That's I hostile that. shit, yeah. I love that. Hey, I got, I got two in the car, in the trunk of my car, 20 bucks. I'm playing. Wait, guns? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, the shirts. Cool. I just assumed guns because, you know. The hoodie. The I'm from hoodie. San Bernardino. Of course there's a fucking gun in the car. Oh, shit. You're from San Bernardino. I'm surprised you have a car, actually. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's stolen, but still. <laughs> Brian. All right. So, interesting. What do you do for work? Sell drugs. I'm from San Bernardino. Jesus Christ. I love this. We've had a <laughs> San Bernardino, a Puerto Rican, and... Uh... No, if, no, for real, I work at a warehouse. Oh, Okay. What do you Men's use? warehouse. <laughs> what kind of warehouse is it? Uh, I, I'd rather not say because it's a big company and they might fire a motherfucker if they see this shit. <laughs> right. Gotcha. That makes sense. Makes sense. It's smart, really. How long have you been with this white woman? Uh, this particular one, four years. Four years. Yeah. Wow. You stay. You stay a one-woman man. You guys are. Yeah. Huh. 
Did you bring her tonight? No, no. She didn't. She doesn't like. She didn't want to come. She said, "Fuck Tony." Really? Yeah. It's actually fucking white. That's people. actually she didn't want to watch your forty-eight second performance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way to drive. Very saucy words. <laughs> no, for real. It's 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 not a lot of time. She comes to see like she comes to my shows, but. I mean, one minute, she ain't, what it's she an hour do? drive, dude. What does she do for work? Uh, She works at a furniture store. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, Hostel. Well, I mean, what's your favorite category of porn? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> good question. And is it oh, black or sh- white? But nah, it, color doesn't matter. Uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm an ass man, so if, if a porn star has a nice ass, good chance I'm going to watch that. Is that what you type in the search bar? Big booty bitches? I don't know why I added the bitch. I didn't say big. I said nice, motherfucker. These BBW is what they call them. Yeah. Good I like Lord. the BBBWs. BBBW, yes. Yeah. We talked about this a few weeks ago, yeah. right? And we mentioned pogs. Yeah. You had the pogs? What the fuck is a pog? You ever put a pog in a girl's butt? <laughs> it's white people currency. <laughs> <laughs> it's a porn that starts with us uh, watching the night before Christmas. Oh, okay. No, I ain't into that shit then. How often do you get to perform living out in San Bernardino? Um, out here, probably like two, maybe three times a month if I'm lucky. Right. That's tough out there, right? Yeah, it's just a long drive, and a lot of the shows, you know, they don't pay for shit, so it's like if I can get a gas money show, I'm good. Right. Well, since you mentioned it, we're not going to give you gas money. Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> right? We were giving everybody gas money, but now we can't talk about it anymore. It's a long <laughs> trip to San And that goes especially for the person with the 30-foot RV. <laughs> <laughs> it's a $700 gas bill. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, interesting. Anything else interesting, Hostel? You into, You have any special hobbies? You like fly airplanes or anything like Besides that? Besides taking uh, the fuck over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, honestly... Um, <laughs> Besides that, I, I'm I'm actually like a really dedicated dad. Like I I love hanging out with my daughter. Oh, that's cool. You know, uh, if I'm not How doing old's your daughter seven. Wow, just seven. one year older than the person who got their uh, bathroom jerked off into. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done if you walked into uh, your uh, seven year old's uh, bathroom and saw that last guy masturbating in it? Oh, he'd have been a dead motherfucker. Yeah, how would you have killed him? I'm from San Bernardino. I got guns. <laughs> I know, I know you're from San Bernardino, but like, I thought I would have gotten a... Nah, like, for real, like, I live in the hood, so I got, like, guns. Like, I, You're scaring me, hostile I, I work. <laughs> I work at a warehouse and do comedy on the side. You think I got dough? Like, I live in a fucked up ass apartment complex and... I would love it if the warehouse you worked at was, like, Bed Bath & Beyond, though. <laughs> <laughs> where where did the gangster. name Hostile Takeover come from? Uh... It just came from like when I first when the after the first couple of years I was doing comedy it seemed like nobody would like even let me get any stage time or I had to like go out of my way to get stage time so I said fuck it instead of trying to fit in I'm gonna take this shit over now Brian I have a question for you uh, you're a powerful figure in the comedy world have you ever thought about changing your name <clears throat> you have so many, you know, majestic qualities Maybe about get you. Rid of the kid. You're saying if you got rid of the kid? Yeah, if you were going to change... To be honest with you, I was thinking about changing it to Brian Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> oh, I like Fuck that. Fucking oh. My stock um, just went up. I don't know. Um, I, I think, I, I don't know what would be a good, um, like Brian the Immortal, you know, or <laughs> Brian... <laughs> Brian the best, you know, or Brian with that huge dick, or he's got money too, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure it out, you know, like where where do you go? He's an all-around athlete with a huge dick, and he makes money, and he's, he's on three TV shows, you know what I mean? I don't, there's so many, so that, would be, that would be a longer, you know, a longer sort of thing. You know, he's 50, but he plays 33 on, in TV, you know what I mean? So that there's that, yeah, that's what I hear from the media. I don't fucking care, but it's what they say. So there's a lot of that. You know what I mean? Either one of you guys ever been with a black woman before? Yes, I have. I sure have, Tony. Sure have. Anything stand out to you different? It was hostile. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was she from San Bernardino? Super hostile. Uh, I had, I've had in college. I went through a real phase. Ooh. I'm, a, I'm an equal opportunity employer. You Tell him went dark. I put it down. I put it the fuck down. Brian the immortal. Because I move. I move from my hips. You understand? I got a lot of equator in me. If you know. What I mean. <laughs> 
That's it. I knew it was going to get you. And I'll tell you, not to be too graphic, but when I have sex, I do not use my hand. (laughs) (laughs) The hands behind the head. Ooh, the 360 roundabout. Oh, wow. I bite my own tongue. Oh, he bites his own tongue. (laughs) I had a feeling. And I spit in my hand for no reason. (laughs) Spit in your hand and then put it back behind your head again. Where my soul is, right in the back of my fucking head. (laughs) Hey, hostile takeover. Uh-oh. I feel like Callum might be a little light in the ass for a black girl. Is that uh, right? Well, oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have any? Do you have any tricks that you do in the bedroom, hostile takeover? Are there any San Bernardino tricks? Like, oh, they're not San Bernardino tricks necessarily. I don't think. I, at least I don't think so. No, you, 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 it's it's not like I stand around watching guys shit. from San Bernardino fuck or something. Like, but no, nah, like I mean, I got a few. I, I guess. I, like, what's your go-to? Yeah. Oh, my go-to. Uh. Give me him, all your money. Him, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Brian. Robbing him at the ATM. Not, um, not a handful of hair smack on the ass, you know. Yeah. Handful of hair you know, smack on the ass. Yeah, standard. The new album from Lil Wayne. You know what, <laughs> you know what works, bro? You know what works when you have sex? Just look her in the eye and go, I'll pay your fucking bills. <laughs> <laughs> We're going shopping after this, motherfucker. Oh Why are you talking God. like that? Because I'm from the hood originally. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> San Bernardino. I love it. Oh, shit. Hostile Takeover in the house. Hostile Takeover. It was nice to meet you, man. There he goes. Hostile Takeover. Fun stuff. String in the big beer. He's got the big beer. It was a Hostile Takeover. He's on Twitter at H underscore T underscore comedy with a K. That's H underscore T. Wait, the I'm back a... of his sweatshirt says hashtag zero fucks given. Wow. Wait, can I do one thing? It's can I just good do, marketing. Can I just do one thing? Can yeah. you just play the sax of sad tune? And I just want to, I just want to look. want to move around I, I, I just want to get up and I just want to wave to like somebody I'm never going to see again, a girl. And I'm just going to be on a boat. I just want to do that one. Oh, like time. a sad song? Yeah. I just always want to do this. And I'm, Think Titanic, but yeah. Yeah. Just, and I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to see her. Yeah. I'm going to see her. Like Guy, and I, and Guy she knows Tannic. I love her, but she's, she's, she, she decided to marry it's another over. man. Yeah. And it's fucking taken off. I want, t- I want tears now. I was trying to make her jealous. I was going to make out with my new boyfriend. No! Oh, but that's what I would tell you. you oh, you're leaving her because you're no, gay. No, you chose him, and then I, I come in and drink your mouth. But you didn't want to fucking play. All right, never mind. That Sorry. was amazing. That guy I, plays a mean sex. That's good. Yes, he does. Thanks, guys. It's a good acting job, right? Here he's going to Troy Conrad, one of the best photographers in Los Angeles. Fuck yeah. Getting he's, special pictures of us tonight. You can, you can see his gallery in the main room uh, when you're leaving the main room. He yeah, has that, the those are all Troy Conrad pictures. Yeah. He's also the creator of uh, one of my favorite shows, Set List. We have a business together. I'll loosen you up, and then he uh, shoots you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Brian is Bang, the guy that man. makes the guy what? smile. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I was waving with my tongue. Samurai! What got into this guy? Fuck, I love man. it. I, I might, you should see me work with a sword. I'm fucking ridiculous. Please don't let him get that sword out. I would Please never, ever face. touch it unless I wanted to use it. Ever. That's, what, that's our credo. That's, what do that's you, the kitana. Bishu, bishu, bushido. When you do use a sword, Brian, what do you normally uh, use it for? What do you do with it? What types of things? Well, well, I feel like you, you know. The only time you'll hear, hear me laugh is when I'm when I'm, I'm taking a life, and and <laughs> <laughs> that's the only time I use it. Indeed, <laughs> done. Last thing you fucking hear. Not to be a dick, I walk the earth. I never fuck, but you fuck with me. Last thing you hear. Indeed, <laughs> that's it. Brian, Fuck. motherfucking Callan. I pulled another name out of the bucket. This looks like another new name. Put your hands together for Coleman Cox, everybody. Here we go. No, Coleman Cox, is that him coming? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> Guys, give it up for you Coleman Cox. You have the Cox. stage presence of hey, a fucking ghost. Us. There hey, he is. Up. One more time for Coleman Cox, everybody. I just moved to a new area. It's pretty sweet. There is this bar down my street, and they got a sign out front that says, Beer cheaper than gas. 
every time I see it, I'm like, well, <laughs> beer cheaper than gas. Looks like I can finally stop drinking gas. <laughs> After all these years, I don't drink it, you huff. I had a... I had a really bad set last night, and I was my girl. I was trying to tell my girlfriend about it, and she had she has multiple sclerosis. And I was like, I had a really bad set last night, and she was like, I'm dying. <laughs> she just doesn't get it, you know. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. <laughs> Fuck yeah, 54 seconds. That's great. That's so amazing. Great stuff, Coleman. Funny. That, was funny. that was so stupid and funny. And I love <laughs> stupid when it's funny. And that was that that's it's hard to do. The so gas thing made me laugh out loud. So like. funny. I like that multiple I'm <laughs> eight years old. I just don't get it. Yeah, that's I ran that bar before I like ever told it on stage. I was like, Can I I can say this right? Yeah. Well, she really funny. has it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not funny anymore. Well, I mean I broke up with her, but um, you broke up with her? Huh? Yeah. Are you with her? Or no? Yes, she was dead weight. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Is nothing sacred? <laughs> she is in the hospital, though, but... She is in the hospital now? What's, what? what's true and what's not? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. Oh, uh, we, sh uh, she got the, f it's like flu season, and so it's like a big deal when you get it when you have multiple sclerosis. I can't tell if you're style. a bad guy or if this is funny. Is some of it, the bad, the stuff that makes me a bad person is a joke. Where are you from? Uh, Texas, Houston, Texas. Huh. You look like a young British prime minister. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> God damn it. It's Tony. amazing that you're from Texas. There's something or, or, very... or he looks like a giant Tobey Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. a giant Benedict Cumberbitch. Yes. <laughs> a huge Hardwick. A Chris Hardwick. Do you, have right. a, do, you have a play, do you have play characters that speak this way? What's up? Do you have a play characters that speak like they're from England? Do I have a uh, character? Do you have a play characters that speak? Do I have a play characters that I I don't act or anything? I pretty oh, much just don't. stay at home and eat oh, rice. You should take my workshop. Yeah. You have a workshop? Yes, my accent. I, d I don't know anything about what it. What other accents can we learn? Can we, I get like a scholarship a for being on the show? What's that? Can I get like a scholarship for being on the show or yes, something? Yes, we'll see what happens. Can you give a, what, what would yeah. a Russian say to him? Russia, I think the Russian must be like, you know, you're Russian, you say Russian vodka, you know, it's, <laughs> you, are, you are from a, a, I am from a Russian. Yeah, all my accents just end up blending together, so I never really get one. You, have, one. you have a, uh, you have a lisp. Yeah, I have a lisp. Which is good, though. It's good for comedy, because you got up and I started laughing. I was like, that's a good, that's a good thing to have for comedy. Yeah, I never got rid of, it used to I be guess. like, I used to have, it used to be really pronounced where I would like say TH with the lisp too. So I'd be like, people at school would be like, say 330. I'd be like, 330. And they'd beat me up, you know. Would they would they beat you up, Colton? <laughs> you're, you're I used to not be six five. It's I weird am. how people would beat you up just for putting your tongue in the wrong place in your mouth. Yeah. Say fucking Some kids are, are rude, this dude. Dicks. Kids are brutal. Man. <laughs> I never was like that. I was just too fucking involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. What do you do for work, Coleman? Um, I uh, well, I've been fired four times since I moved here, but I finally got a full time job as a same reason office assistant. What's up? Same reason for all the four fires. Like the first time I worked at a telemarketing company, and I got fired. They well, told us that's a bad idea, sir. Yeah, they told us that we they walked into the room and they told everyone in the room that we couldn't use the bathroom anymore because we weren't getting enough leads, which is illegal, right? Yeah. So I was like, I decided all I would do was make prank phone calls and put people on the do not call list for two weeks. And then they eventually figured it out. Because I, I would call people up and I'd be like, hello. And some dude would answer and be like, hello. And I'd go, uh, hi, let me talk to your wife. Wow. And, and he'd go, why? And I'd go, none of your business. And they, <laughs> they heard that and they, they were like, that's not in the script. <laughs> Damn. So that's the first job you were fired from. What did you do after that? Uh, I, was a, I was a canvasser for Amnesty International, which was cool because it's like um, – it's like Amnesty International helps feed people around the world mm -hmm. and everything. And it's like I was asking for money on the street. So it's like a great job if you have a passion for human rights and begging. You know. Yeah. 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 Okay, number like three. The theater. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. No. Coleman, where else did you get fired from? I got fired from, uh, what was the job after Amnesty International? Oh, fuck. Um, uh, oh, a ma I used to sell mattresses. Ooh. That was the first job I got fired from. Actually. Really? 
Yeah. Is that hard to is that hard to sell mattresses? It seems like anybody, you know, in people, a mattress yeah, store. Yeah, sounds like a cushy like job. It. People yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's there he goes. He's retiring forever after that. There he goes. You're, that, that's weird when you, you sell know. mattresses because people what kind of questions would people I love that. Probably, you probably would like, is this comfortable? It's like I like learned the expert. That's the job that taught me I was a really bad salesman because people would come in and they they'd just be like, Is this hey, a good mattress? What's your sleep number? Yeah, like Fuck a thing, fuck a pass. Hey, is this a good mattress? And I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, all right, I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah, I feel like if you're looking at mattresses, you're there to buy one. I yeah. feel like you, you, all you could do is fuck it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm really counter. bad. I maintain eye contact for too long, you know, and just like sweat. Made it awkward. And, and made it awk I had a weird, I don't know. I bought, a, I bought a mattress. The guy said, I said, well, all mattresses are the same. And he goes, they're not the same They're just not and he stopped and i went oh and he goes that's why this rip van winkle oh, gotcha. it a rip van winkle really that's why it's a thousand dollars and i went well wh why that's a lot of money he goes yeah but you spent a lot of your life sleeping so it's actually very little money if you extrapolate it out for your life and i was like it cost me about a cent uh, a day. I bought the fucking mattress. You got the Rip Van Winkle? I got the Rip Van I Winkle. got the Rip Taylor. That's when you sleep on it. Confetti shoots out of the sides. <laughs> Is that what I'm talking about? That That's fucking guy. another good joke. Here, <laughs> Fox! <laughs> For the seven people that... Is, am I saying that right? Rip Taylor? Rip Taylor. Throwback. <laughs> I worked with him. Did you? On Mad TV. Ooh. Original cast member. doesn't matter. But I remember uh, <laughs> I did work with Rip Taylor. It was pretty cool. I love it. Coleman, so how long have you been with uh, multiple sclerosis? <laughs> That's what he's that right? calling your girlfriend, by the yes. way. Oh, okay. How long have you been with the... I was Mrs. like, I don't have... Oh, wait. <laughs> Her name. Um, the old MS. <laughs> the Miss. Oh, my God. Uh, like a month. A month. Only a month. Wait, it's like a month. I, yeah, I started dating. Wow, talk about hit it and quit she, it. She like makes. Uh, she's an illustrator and she makes like art and she's stuff. She's an illustrator. Was, Damn, uh, she puts the ill in illustrator. Multiple sclerosis. Everything well, she draws is blurry. <laughs> oh man, this isn't going well. <laughs> how, how bad does she have it? Like how bad does she have it? Is it pretty bad? Uh, it's like uh, she she learned she had it a year ago. Um, so it's like it's not bad, and then it's like can be really pronounced if she gets the flu or something. Because right. MS is like the immune system; your own immune system attacks your nerve cells, and so when you get something gotcha. like the flu, do you go visit her in the hospital? Um, no, you don't. Yeah, yeah, I do. It. So you do. All right. How about we just skip you the jokey times. answers for a second? Because I, I, there's things that I could really get into here. You guys ever sure. do anything sexual in like the hospital room? Um, no. I've always I, wondered that. Like if I was like not stuck personally, in a hotel, but I, I will like not. sext her in the hospital and stuff. You so sext like, her, but then you get there and you're just totally like a cock block. You just stare right at her. Like, you, you send well, her dick pics? Um, oh yeah. Really? You are working with a piece? Does she ever send you pictures? Nah, forget it. You got you got you got <laughs> yes, dick on you. I almost crossed the line there. Is I, I stopped myself. <laughs> back up, alarm. Back up, back up. You've only been with her for Can't a really. month. Yeah. But you're, you're already telling jokes about her. Does, yeah. Does she, what does she think of this? Uh, she, she, thought, nice? she thought I was funny. We were like, make, she's funny. Well, laughter is the best medicine. Unless you have MS, of course. Then you're pretty much fucked. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dark oh, stories. Oh, the cruelty. <laughs> Coleman's loving it. She, because um, I, I know she's gonna listen to this, and that's like, you know, she likes. God bless. She has fun. a good sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Shout so, out to her. She, she's an artist. Like, Sounds like you found someone really special. You guys yeah. are gonna have <laughs> fun next few weeks. W what does she draw? Uh, she makes illustrations for children's books and stuff, and okay. we're working on it, like a kids' book. Um, and you know, uh, she's done other projects and stuff like that, like. Uh, covers of books and all that shit. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, her, oh, her name's um, Monty Ratchford, I guess. Ooh, Monty, Monty Ratchford. Ratchford. There you go. If you're cool into, if you're into illustrations, uh, they won't be available long, guys. Uh, get them while they're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna increase in value. They're, so they're, they're gonna, they're gonna She's shoot up. <laughs> we don't. I apologize. You don't know when she's gonna Van go, so these. Uh, they're rootless. <laughs> they're fucking. Rootless. Your <laughs> jokes were great. All right. Well uh, done. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, anyway, I'm going to go. 
And uh, you uh, you guys really do you want to go? No, I'm no, going to all stay for. I was going to do with what God's doing with your girlfriend and leave you here a little bit longer. Uh, <laughs> oh come on! Sure, really, that's sure. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, Fuck what's up? What's up? Br Bray Wyatt, like that. Your new WWE champion is in the audience. You see Bray Wyatt every nothing. All right, fuck yourselves. What's up? Uh, put your hands together for Coleman Cox, everybody. Awesome stuff, Coleman dude. Cox. What's their name again? What's their name? Monty Ratchford is the Monty name uh, for those illustrations. If you want to check them out, he's on Twitter at Colementology. Colementology. C O L E M A N T O L O G Y. One more time for Coleman Cox, everyone. Coleman Cox. We're having fun. This is your guys' first time on the show. One of the things that I like to do once in a while when it's somebody's first time on the show is I always... Uh, now, Brendan, you recently started doing stand-up. You've always been a hilarious personality. You guys have had the podcast for a long time. And Brian, of course, you know, one of the top in the world. I just won Best Comic by the International Federation of uh, <laughs> Stand-Up Comic. I comedy love that. Your, your award America. just came, didn't it? I know. It's so fucking cool. exciting. I'm going to ask you guys a real question. They sent me a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> really? Seven of them. Yeah. Anyway. I fuck. Is that what you're going to ask? That was actually oh, my ask question. Me what I've been up to lately. Was there anything that you guys did when you first started doing stand up that like you can't believe you did or like you look at it was like, "Oh my god, that was so dumb. Like what a huge mistake." Yes. All like what? <laughs> this one time I wore tights. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh I I did um I told you this. I did a th this was one of my jokes where I, I was like, "I wonder what it's like this is so embarrassing. What it's like to be a turtle." I think I'll go outside for a walk. Uh-oh, a dog. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, but I was, to think that I came from that to fucking, and then my career. You gotta start yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super fucking Nova. No, it's Brian's career. Did you really? a supernova. No, it's Brian's fucking career. Take it, B. Yeah, anyway, I'm just saying, that's what the New York Times says. Is that a supernova or his fucking career? Look at that dick and his jawline. <laughs> Brendan, I hate it. you've been doing stand up a little while now. You're also doing the Big Brown podcast, all this other stuff. Uh, Big Brown Breakdown. Big Brown Breakdown. Yes, sir. And, um, yeah, and he's a fighter. Yeah, of course. Not anymore. One of my favorite fighters ever. Question is any, you know, anything like, anything weird, anything go wrong, anything. I had, a, like, fuck. I had a set at the uh, at the Laugh Factory, and it was all Armenian night. Ooh! Didn't uh, go well at all. Uh uh. No. Didn't get one laugh. Unless your joke, unless your jokes for the Armenians is like, "Who loves a uh, dirty shit?" <laughs> and they go crazy. They fucking love it, just who, like that. See, even white people laugh. Dirty shit? Some of my love Armenian that. jokes go both ways. Oh my god! Hits the mainstream. There's a big too. Armenian mafia in this fucking town. Be careful. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They, don't, they don't fuck around. You're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> True. You guys ready to see another comedian, huh? How about that? <laughs> All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. This looks like another new name. Put your hands together for Justin Glockler. Justin Glockler. Is Justin here? Here he comes, Justin oh, Glocker. From the back. Keep clapping. Here he comes. Gentlemen. Very nice to meet you all. What's up, man? <laughs> so, how we all doing? Good evening, and go for me. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So, the other night I was at this bar. I was talking to this girl. Randomly, she grabs my face and kisses me and says, you'll never see me again. And I say, I know. Now, you know the best part about dating homeless chicks? You can just drop them off anywhere. So... <laughs> You guys ever hit a girl before? <laughs> I'm talking like, not not like big slug bug, like 90 mile an hour fastball, bam! Blast the bitch in the face. Me neither. 
Yeah, I would never do that shit. So, honestly, I'm not trying to be in a relationship at all right now. Because the last relationship I was in almost killed me. So let me tell you, boys and girls, about falling in love with cocaine. That shit will break your bank account, it'll break your heart, it'll break the skin off your penis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's probably about a minute, right? We were going to see how long you were going to go for. Uh... We wanted to see how long that could last. Uh, that was like watching a gif of a train wreck. Uh, I just, I actually just got, like, boom, I just boom, got a, boom, boom. And, yep. and that's the beauty, that's the beauty, that's the beauty I love about comedy. I think like jokes write themselves. You make me nervous. Well, uh, a really? couple of your jokes writ themselves like 70 years ago. Uh. Yeah, I got a text from the International Sorry. Comedy Federation. Of <laughs> Is he out? Comedy experts and they said, bravo, you have a lot of potential. <laughs> oh, Tell well. Me. Then they said psych. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking mean. That is so mean. You know what? I feed off of bombing. <laughs> well, then you well. must be absolutely filled to the brim. Uh, no need for seconds for you, then, if that's what you're feeding off of. It's time for dessert, my sweet Justin. Oh, my God. Oh you my. feed off of bombing. You ate it tonight. <laughs> That was harder to watch than Theater in the Park. Are you, are you, do, you, do you really are believe you, so? I mean, the crowd kind of speaks for itself. No, you have no idea what they were laughing at, Justin. It was amazing, because I could tell you were using that momentum. It was incredible. It's the first time, I mean, what's 195 times probably 10 comedians per episode? That's, I don't know, a few thousand comedians we've had on this show at least. And that's the first time me and Brian both agreed, like, yeah, let's just see how fucking long. Like, let's, <laughs> first time we've ever gone no I, cat ever. I would have gone longer, but I only thought I had a minute in my head. Yeah. So... Oh, you didn't have a minute in your head. You had, you didn't, you didn't have much, there was not much going on. Just, how long have you been doing stand-up? I've actually been doing it less than a year. Well, okay. Oh. Do I'll you work at Medieval Times? No, I actually work, I work for a music composer and, uh, when I'm, no, when I'm not selling out comedy clubs ac across the globe, I'm fucking working at the Cheesecake Factory getting hit on by a bunch of old ladies and gay dudes. So... Wow. Uh, <laughs> you're waiting tables at a Cheesecake Factory? Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Less than a year. Why is everything less than a year? What happened a year ago? I, you know, he landed I don't know. I, the, answer, the answer goes out into the infinite. I can't answer that. Why yeah. can't you answer it? I just can't. I, I don't know. I just, I just started somebody? taking chances, and, you know, I just wanted to start doing stand-up. So, you, you know? Well, keep, keep doing it. Have you been doing so, it a lot, though? It, you said less than a year. Like, where, yeah, look, where do you live? I live in uh, Palms right now. Culver City, you know how it's all one fucking weird unit. So yeah, I live over there, and then. Wait, so you told the joke. Uh, the thing about cocaine is it'll break your heart, your <laughs> bank back, account, and your bank dick, account and your dick, and the skin off of your penis. Well, why why would it break the skin off your penis? Because you're having too much sex and you're not having enough sex, so you're jacking off. Duh, oh, you idiot! But that's not a joke. <laughs> yeah, more toilet paper for you. Uh, Nobody's trying to wrap a mummy up here. Get, get that shit out of here. And you can see Jesus. all that and more whenever you rewatch no, this episode. No, we, we, we got dartboards for that. I love it. Brendan Schaub, uh, a former UFC fighter, looking genuinely scared at this moment. Uh, he's never been this close to a school shooter before. So <laughs> this, is, this is new for everybody. Just it's a creepy vibe. I don't know what to tell you, man. What was your last job before working at the Cheesecake Factory? I I have multiple jobs, so I work also for a music composer. Yeah, I heard he's that. a composer of but bones. But that's not really how you're making your money. Let's face it, you're that's, grinding. No, that is it. That is it. I'm grinding. Really? I'm just working as much as I can. Who's the music producer? His uh, his producer of bones. I don't want to just say you names. Said bones? Yeah, I just bones and thug. No, bones is the Fox show. Oh, word. Yeah, so you know, like there's money out there to be made in Hollywood. You know that people we'll will never meet. So there's just money out there. There's that song. 
Um, Justin, let me ask you another question. Go Love for it, life. Tony. You're talking about the skin falling off of your penis. What type of uh, what type of women are you hanging out with? The wrong type of women, Tony. Uh, huge laugh. Like seven year olds. <laughs> I wasn't even going for a laugh. That's why I closed my eyes. Uh, we know you're not going for a laugh, Justin. <laughs> I what went for it? a moment of pure utter shame in front of all of you. You had a minute and forty seconds of that earlier. Uh, <laughs> and it's continuing, obviously. So what, what was the thought process when you said I'm going to be a stand-up comic? What What was it? Was it that you crack your friends up, or what was it? Um, we are friends. Oh, it, yeah, you it's weird. Honest, that, no, honestly, like, I just I'm I've always been kind of a performer. I'm a musician as well. Oh, okay. Ooh, you know, okay. so it transcribed into that. What is awesome. what, 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 like everything? What is, what I play guitar, drums. You know, I play music. Do you play guitar like you do stand up? And that's like barely at all. You're playing a song. You're gonna play us a song. But I'm super good at it. This is called How Hard Can One Human Bomb on this show. Uh, next up, we're going to have him shoot some basketballs into a hoop. It's going to be glorious. Anything he says he's even mediocre at, we're going to watch him fail at here tonight. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that him? Wait, the, that, wait a second. We can't hear. Wait, bass player, you're making him sound good. Stop <laughs> this. No, he can play. He can play. Okay, we got that. Can Guys, play. can, can we let him play One, the guitar? Two, music? three, four. Oh, 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 I've been bombing. I've been bombing. For so long. For so fucking long. I can't keep track of time. Skip it if I do, but do, bop a do. Something must be wrong. Uh, skip it if I do, but do, bop a do. I'm on the bomb uh, squad. Uh, bomb uh, squad. Uh, uh, the bomb squad. Bomb squad. Bomb squad. Oh Motherfucking bomb squad. Bomb squad. All right, that's enough. That was like <laughs> Les Clay drool. He's kind of nice on the guitar. I love it. It's good. That was good. Oh, yeah, like, man. Stick with the play. guitar. John Mayer of Bombtown. <laughs> that was all improv, so come on, work with me. I wasn't going to just like, hold on, let's turn the lights down low and have a moment. <laughs> yeah. Improv, and that it was like a freestyle on a guitar. What Give else me a you fucking break. Justin, so settle the down. The guitar was good, man. Is there a goddamn parrot in the room or what? Fuck. Well, yeah. Give me a fucking Justin, break. Justin, Justin, where are you from? I'm. I was born in the UK. I was raised in Reno, Nevada. Ooh. The now I'm here. Biggest small city in the world. Yeah. Huh. Um. Justin. Twenty-four hour drinking, gambling, all the fun shit. How long have you been out here? Five years. How much longer till you go back? <laughs> Just kidding, Justin. Uh, I, I, I never got an answer on that love life thing. Just Justin, I just find you unbearable, so let me ask you again. Like you know what? That's girl, why stop, I don't stop, look stop, in a stop, mirror. Stop, stop. Me down. too. Settle down, Justin. Uh, the last girl that you had like intercourse with, how did that happen? Where did you meet her? A bar? Something like that? Like, How did that go down? A playground. <laughs> it was a playground. Where else would it be? Why are you asking me questions like this, Tony? <laughs> It's like the it's like Last almost tries to be like Justin, the consciousness Justin. of my like thoughts, but it's not Justin, even I'm strong enough. I'm trying to fucking enough. save you right now. You're Thank you. Terrible. So Thank listen you. to me and answer my question. The last, last time, time had I had intercourse, yeah, how'd that go down? Fucking drunk, ravaging, wild man sex. Where at? With who? It was random girl, as it was random sex in a random place. On the random grass. Made up story. On the random Made sidewalk. Story. Made up story. Random, 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 random. I'm, I'm, I'm improvising here. I'm improvising. Yeah. I don't have an answer. I've never had sex before. I don't even hey. have a dick. 
All right. Well. Well. Justin, you're something special. You're all right, Justin. You're Thank all right. you, guys. You're all right with us, man. Don't don't kill us. <laughs> I I feel fucked up that you said that because I like I'm not trying to put that vibe off. No, like, you're right. we're kidding. Like I no, like you know you're not you're trying. Yo, no, no. First ah. up, hey. Hey, no, for, hey! First up, first up, how I'm looking at it is like this: like you know, like you guys are who you guys are, and second of all, like you called my name up. It's all random out of whatever fucking bucket that is. I came up here trying to jump on this stage and command this bitch. This is the worst. Yeah, so that's how I fucking look at it, you know? Like, you know, that's how I fucking look at it. So. Absolutely, it was a it was a hostile takeover. One could say, without the name, Keep but the doing name it, though. Keep all right, there so, he goes, Justin Glockler, ladies Justin and gentlemen. Glockler. Give him a hand, give the man a hand. That's what you all wanted, Justin Glockler. People love watching people bomb. That's I right. loved watching you two. You guys like, you guys like shut down and lean back. I was uncomfortable. I thought I was just gonna. Get, 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 get. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get, 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 get. Just, the 360 just, just takes out everybody. Fuck this. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Joel Jimenez. I just want to lighten the mood after that. It's my mom's birthday. Can I have a happy oh, birthday to Happy mom. birthday. Is she mom. here? Happy birthday. Ugh. Is she here? <laughs> well, in honor of your mom's birthday and in honor of the show, we're going to do something uh, special. A lot of people love a certain group of triplets that uh, we met a few months ago. They are the Roman reigns of comedy in which they are either absolutely loved or fucking hated. This last three weeks, we split them up individually, and they each did a set one by one by one, and it's been four weeks since we've seen them together, but you special audience get to see it right now. It's the reunion of the Verzi triplets. One minute. They're gonna, uh, they're gonna probably yeah. All right. Thank you guys. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, last week, Tony showed one of our commercials we did when we were seven years old. Yeah, we were child actors. You don't need talent to be a child actor. You just need to be cute. Yeah, and we were very molestable kids. Oh, I mean, just we because, were totally six dimples. We six were, dimples. We're a pedophile's wet dream. Okay, mm -hmm. that's all we're saying. We're very cute, and you know, in the commercial, we had our shirts off, which I can only imagine Jared from Subway has jerked off to you like five times, Four multiple times. times. Oh my God, we're adorable. We're molestable now. Even. It's true, maybe. But then we hit puberty, and once you hit puberty, your career is over. Puberty is like AIDS to a child actor. It's just, it's not fun anymore. Just kind of wither away. No. <laughs> Speaking of AIDS, that commercial was shot in Africa. Yep, us in Africa. Yep. No joke, it was shot in Africa. But it's different out there. Like the child labor laws in America, you work three hours and then they rotate you in. Mm -hmm. In Africa, you work or they kill you. They just, that's just it. That's it. You work or you're a soldier. Yeah. It's a different kind of environment there. Like we different kind of environment. We went to McDonald's and all the Happy Meals came with machetes. <laughs> <laughs> all the Happy Meals came with machetes. It, you sons of bitches. It, it I don't know like, why I love you, but I do. It looks like three Chad Mendes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are about to weigh in. Let me ask you guys a question, dead serious. You guys ever, you guys lift? You guys fucking hit it hard in the gym? Boy. Do you even lift, bros? You guys, you guys, you guys work because I was looking at you from behind. I'm, I'm happy with your backs. I'm happy with your fucking, with your glutes. You definitely don't, you don't waste any time. You fucking hit your glutes. I know you hit them hard. You All three of them. Uh, you, you think they're on something, dude? I don't think they're on something. I think these guys, these kids are probably, they got some Italian in them. They got some, they got some Italian. They're yes, Jersey sir. Italian. Yep. They eat a lot of, they eat a lot of, they, they, they're good with their carbs. They eat the carbs at night. They eat the protein in the morning. <laughs> They got smooth, they got smooth, smooth American slash Italian skin. Appreciate that, you guys. All three of them work in their parents' construction business. Yeah, they all eat true. together, they right. sleep in cribs. Have any wrestlers in the group? Any, anybody no, wrestle? We, we should have. We played football, wrestled? we didn't wrestle. You played football? Yeah, we should have wrestled. No, you built like fucking wrestlers, you guys. You guys that, ever do any light wrestling just for fun? Yeah, we fuck around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I mean, just you ever do it for money? Or, well, we'll <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm, I'm straight. That's I'm asking American questions. That's all. That's all. A Kill Tony uh, charity wrestling match? Yeah, why not? Oh, Ooh, you three. Why not? Oh, look, your cock. Is that a Speedo? You know, that kind of thing. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll do some stretching. You guys flexible or what? Creepy oh. questions. Creepy questions. <laughs> 
Ooh, <laughs> Joe Lynch just gave you his there underwear. <laughs> Those They're are his. No, he just you, guys, you guys grew up in Jersey or where? No, we grew up in L.A., but oh, we... In L.A.? Yeah, we look like we're from Jersey yeah, all the time. Yeah, you look like, uh, like three guys from Jersey. <laughs> yes. Put, put, it, put it on, then take it off. <laughs> oh, right on oh, the head. Jesus. These guys will do anything oh. for your love, people. They're fucking warm. They will do warm. anything for you They're to like They're fucking warm. And now you guys get together as three, and you go, let's... I, I got an idea. You know, that? We'll let's all bomb at once. That really yeah, happens. that's the usual idea. Yeah. Just bomb at the same time. <laughs> Don't worry, Justin Glockler also triple bombed tonight. <laughs> that was that last guy. Yikes. <laughs> how, how long have you guys been doing stand-up? A little over a year. You guys yeah. should climb up on top of his other shoulders and perform <laughs> one mic at the very top. Yeah. Have you guys ever, big fought, trench you coat? ever fought another man or uh, three other guys? Are you well organized? Like twins fight? on twins on triplets or something? Yeah. Like when you guys, I'd be, open to I'd be down fight, for that. That'd be fucking guys fun. Who are related as closely as you guys would be hard because you're psychically organized. One yeah. goes low, the other goes high. We're, we're, we're in sync really for easy. sure. Or easy. Or really easy. Uh, what about chicks? You guys date the same girl? Ever pull the switcheroo? Not really. Although I just picked, he did, he took a curl on a Tinder date out like three years ago and never made a move. So I just took her out a couple weeks ago and I'm gonna fuck her. You made a move. Yeah. That's super aggressive, but yeah. <laughs> How did it go? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fuck her tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Hopefully, not if I have something to do with it. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. He's no, he he's wacky. What are you gonna do? Like one. come in? Like he's hey, not gonna oh. do a fucking thing. He already blew his chance, so. You guys are only funny like 12% of the time. Um, I love it, though. It's adorable. That ratio is a huge increase of where we were a few months ago. So let me ask you, Triplet, something. You guys all got to perform on your own. Now you're all back together at once. Uh, how did that affect you guys doing solo sets for three weeks in a row? We saw one of you do a new minute, another did a new minute, and then another did a new minute. And it started uh, pretty okay, and then it got worse after that. Everybody started doing worse. Well, I would kind of done a little bit of stand-up before we did the Triplet Act. Were you the first one? Yeah. You were week one? Yeah. But and I did I did new material. So. And you had less time to prepare, which is weird because you guys had an extra week. And Isn't it sort of crazy that you guys are triplets and this guy's absolutely superior to you in the comedy <laughs> business? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Not at all. He just had one good set. Whoa. And, and one of the lines he, he used in there was one of my lines. So. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to admit it, but it's fucking true. It was a throwaway joke. Three uh, you got to chuckle. That was do it. you guys, do you guys uh, find yourself like reading the same book coincidentally and, and like, having the same dream? Yeah, stuff? they do. They read the same book sometimes when they're yeah. sleeping in the same bed <laughs> right before falling asleep. You guys do live together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we all live together. Yeah, have you ever together. spooned with yeah. your cocks in each other's asses? <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Jesus. Hey, man. Every night. Right. Have some decency here. Just went all the way there. Any of you guys ever catch the other ones masturbating? We have a catch yeah. all the time. thing earlier. Who gets caught the most? Uh, I, did, I did a lot when we were kids. We had really shitty internet. So the second like someone got on like a YouTube video or something, you knew they were on it, and they just run in the room and you you catch them jerking the off. You guys all have the exact same size piece, or what's going on? <laughs> we haven't looked, man. We haven't looked. Haven't never looked. looked. What? Yeah. I mean, never... my, I've seen his dick a fucking. Down, what, the first day I met him, I was pissing, and he goes like this, and I go, "What?" He goes, "I'm just checking out what you're working with." It, <laughs> you guys haven't looked. You guys no, see each other that's naked. That's so weird. Yeah. You no. Have seen each other naked? You no. Don't spot each other. Yeah. <laughs> Show us your penises now. No. Yes. One extremely lonely woman wants to ever to happen right now. <laughs> so you never rock with your cocks out as a group? No, it's fucking uh, weird. I don't know, dude. Uh, you should come out like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Socks on dicks. <laughs> well, you're Beach sweet, boy. guys. You're sweet. You're a sweet three. Uh, I call you guys the sweet three. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, that's my nickname for you guys, the sweet three. So what do you guys think is uh, what do you guys think is what do you guys think is next for the Versi trip? Better than the salty bowl. <laughs> for is that for us or for them? Yeah. Uh, we're just we're gonna keep doing it. You just gotta keep getting up and keep fucking doing it. You know, a I minute's an interesting that. thing for us. So, but did we're gonna the, keep doing it. So. Serious question: Did the, did the three did this like throw off your guys's like chi or anything? This experiment, this odd. Oh no! I was gonna say we we set aside a day to do strictly solo, and then we'll come back together. So you guys are back to it, just full speed. Yeah. Well, we're going to give each other one day to do like a solo day just so we each like creatively think outside the triplet shit and then go back right. and do it. Thank you, Red Band, That's for cool. that. So you guys can go and think about the same things in separate rooms. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. 
the, the, the Triplet Act does work, though, in some places, like like f like oh, other clubs. Right, so. oh, freak yeah. shows. When like we get, this doesn't happen. No, this doesn't happen all the time. No, right? When I feel we like get, you guys would kill it on America's Got Talent or some shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when we get longer That's than a minute, sort of, it's in my opinion what like I think they're in a weird you know, fantasy football type of way being built for. It's like, it's definitely not going to be fucking, you know. I they're, they're not edgy at all, but... Are you friends with the wolf likeable. boy? Yeah. What? Are they friends with the wolf boy? I've always wanted to know what he's like. What the fuck? Wow, a long, <laughs> deep reach. Deep reach. I don't even get it. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. Um... <laughs> Subversi triplets. I don't know. What do you think? We we feel much. I mean, obviously, every comic feels much better outside of a one minute set. But definitely for us, it just helps us <laughs> helps us lean out a little more. I love it. There they go. Thank you the so Versi much, Versi triplets, guys. ladies and gentlemen. They're on Twitter at the Versi triplets. What do you guys think? Just do one last quick one and then get out of here. One yeah, more. Man. One more. Crowd's not really into it. We're gonna get out of here one right now. One last one. Put your hands together. We know this young lady. She's a now a uh, employee here. Put your hands together for Jessica Wellington, everybody. Is she Jessica here? Jessica Wellington. Is she in the room? Nope. I didn't think so. She's working, right? She fucked up. She took off early. All right, Scott Cohen. Wow, here he comes from the middle of the audience. Price is right style. Scott Cohen. Hey guys, I'm here for on holiday. I'm from Australia. Um, <laughs> I'm really enjoying my 2017. My 2016, I spent uh, dealing with the big C. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the big C is what I call my girlfriend. <laughs> no, I did have cancer. I had bladder cancer. They wanted to take out my whole bladder and replace it with a neo bladder, which is like a regular bladder, but it's um, from the Matrix. <laughs> so I can dodge bullets? I didn't ask. They ended up taking out a third of my bladder, so now I have about the bladder the size of an 11-year-old's, uh, which I'm okay with because I've always had the penis about the size of an 11-year-old's. <laughs> also, I'm a fan of symmetry. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I've been Scott. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Scott Cohen, all the way from Australia, making jokes about his small penis. Bladder cancer. <laughs> Having a little problems with the old down under areas, we see. <laughs> Tony, down under, yeah. <laughs> he looks like it's got a little shrimp on your Barbie, huh? <laughs> tiny bad. dick, Australian tiny dick <laughs> jokes, people. How, how did you find out you had uh, cancer? Did you start smelling, or was there blood, or uh, pissing blood? Pissing, pissing blood. blood. Pissing how long? Did, uh, wow. So is that make my new album? <laughs> immediately when you see blood coming out of your is that hereditary? Is that, uh, did you smoke a lot? What? They don't know. Yeah. They, they Are can't you wearing like a device now, like a bag now? No, no, I got to, I was going to wear a device, but I got to keep my own bladder and they just made it a lot smaller. Good. So oh. you got to pee all the time? Yeah. yeah. Right How now. often do you go pee? <laughs> um, Every ask this guy, I've shoved past him like three times this show. <laughs> He's all three, three times. Three times. Wow, that mu little, now, are you drinking right now? Or? Yeah, yeah. Maybe Man, I wouldn't drink anymore. I am Australian. Anymore. Maybe lay off. Yeah, you wouldn't drink anymore, Brian. No, sure. I, I, no, <laughs> I'd be doing like Coke or something. You, know? you, like, you would also drugs. probably be doing that as well. Right. <laughs> Are you going to keep developing the cancer-like stuff because it's a big part of your life? Oh, uh, well, this is my first time ever doing this. I just wow, look at that. We popped his cherry, everybody. We, we wow. popped his platter. This is your first time doing stand-up? Yeah. Wow. wow. I'm just a big fan of the show, and I, I couldn't come all this way without putting my You must be so excited, ready to pee your pants or something like that. Good job. Thank you. Balls Thank you. <laughs> you're a sweet guy. This is like your make-a-wish if you didn't survive your cancer. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm not sure it's gone. It's funny when somebody has cancer. Like I, I, I feel, uh, I feel like you're much sweeter. Like you, you have cancer, so now I, I, I just generally like you. I, yeah. I'm like, you I, guys should get mind, a time share. In my mind, I was like, he's got a very sweet expression in his eyes. Yeah, you seem like like a cool guy from like a. Like, yeah, yeah. like some kind of like Bond movie or something like that, or like Rem hey, bro, you want to hang out? <laughs> Rem I, I've got yogurt. <laughs> Remission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Henson, really? ladies and gentlemen, you're talking about a fucking professional. You better recognize. I it took me a long time to write those stupid. jokes. I beg to differ. I think he looks like if the store Journeys was a person. Oh. No one been to the mall in a while. That's it's a dead one. on. <laughs> 
we don't have does that, that in Australia. Does that get you laid, by the way, when you talk about how you had cancer? Cancer survivor. Girls like that, right? Oh, the girlfriend loves it. Yeah. <laughs> they want to take care of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, were, you, were, you, were you pissed when you got cancer? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good fucking... Hey, yay! <laughs> fucking keeps coming. Now you know how I feel, Mr. Kevin. <laughs> What are other side effects that you've had to deal with? Uh, it's been a long road. Like, I had nine surgeries, chemo, then it spread to my lung. I had surgery there. Oh, shit. Um, God damn, man. <laughs> fuck, yeah. how old are you? 34. How old were you when you got it? 33. Oh, <laughs> fucking fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, oh, bl fuck, bladder fuck, cancer fuck, fuck, are most common in people over 80. Yeah, we're, it's oh, happening fuck, tonight, fuck, fuck, Tony. Fuck. Oh, we're glad God. you're here, man. Yeah, thanks. Me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good answer. And that was funny. Did you have cancer in the family? Like, was this a family cancer thing? No, they gave me a list and they said, uh, is it any of these? And it was heavy smoker, people over 70, prolonged catheter use, like working in the carpet dyeing industry. And I was just like, no, 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 no. What the fuck? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, how do you smoke with your dick? <laughs> Well, when it spread to my lung, that was also bladder cancer, but in my lung. So people ask, like, how are you pissing, man? Like, yeah. <laughs> why you got bladder cancer in your lung? Yeah. A lot of heavy shit tonight, Tony. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lot of heavy shit and light peas. Uh -huh. Yeah, heavy shit, but also a whole bunch of triumph, you guys. <laughs> See, Tony? Triumph. Yeah, triumph. Man. <laughs> huh. I'm okay, I just... I feel so lucky. I can't stand that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Brian Callen goes hours without pissing. I know. <laughs> wow, Scott. Well, this is pretty cool. How long are you visiting America for? Uh, we're here for three weeks, but we've been in L.A. for four days, and we leave tomorrow. Oh. We go to wow. San, San, San Fran. Is that your girl? Yeah, she's she's a, she's she hates being spoken well, to yeah, in the crowd. Piece. Well done, dude. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Bravo. We like you guys. You're winning at life, sir. Here's my Thank platinum you. credit card. Go crazy. Son. <laughs> well, I mean, it also is one of those things where she might not really like you anymore, but she stands by you just so that she knows that she wouldn't be able to live with herself because if she did leave you, you know what I mean? So everyone everyone, everyone will look down on it. It might be one Tony. of those things where she's not really that good of a person, but because, like, it's for her own selfish reasons, she's just, you know. No, I saw that movie. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Scott, right? I'm so, so happy for you that you got to, uh, you know, do something that you've always wanted to do here tonight and try stand-up comedy for the first time. Good it was job, actually yeah, it was pretty Thank awesome, you. and you. your interview part was amazing. You're, you know, sort of built for this, so don't die. Yeah. It was <laughs> I'm nice trying to my best, you. man. There you go. Back bro. to Australia tomorrow. Scott Cohen, you made it through this episode of Kill Tony. Wow. Look at that. Whoa. Brian versus Brian. That's, awesome. That's amazing. That Brian so J. Cool. Ebelt's a freak. That's so cool. Why do I look that older than everybody dope. else? Uh, <laughs> Why do you look old? <laughs> you go can go get a print at RyanJEbelt.com. RyanJEbelt.com. Yeah. Guys, that was this episode of Kill Tony. What do you guys want to plug? You got, you got Brian Callen. It's like Nashville. Nashville this weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday at Zanies. Only come if you like laughing fucking hard as shit for an hour and a half. Uh, Fire and the Kid is in Washington, D.C. and Philly in April. One of my favorite podcasts. Check out The Fighter and the Kid. Uh, Jeremiah Watkins. Yes, at Jeremiah Stand Up on all social media. Please reach out to me. And Pat Reagan and I have a new Reagan and Watkins video coming out tomorrow. Joel Jimenez is the drummer. He's on Twitter at Mostly Sorry. And then check out, uh, check out my, my other podcast, the Pro Wrestling Podcast, Store Horseman, The Pony Hour, which... I've had a great interview with Brendan Schaub on before, episode one. And uh, thank you, live audience, for coming out. See ya. Goodbye. At Chroma Chris, the bass player.